Hi guys and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be expanding on our web browser that we made in the last tutorial. Now this is a working web browser and um, I should just highlight because um, you'll notice that things look a bit different that I've had to remake what we made in the last tutorial because it, it didn't save. Um, so in this in this tutorial we're going to be expanding the functionality of our web browser now I'd like to apologize in advance if this anything goes wrong with this screen recording um because my because I'm and this is Windows XP is a virtual machine and just for the record for the people who have asked me what screen recorder I use I use screenflow but yeah this is being recorded a virtual machine of Windows XP so and um, the c computer is under a lot of strain but yeah let's get started with this tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be adding a back forward refresh and stop button to our web browser so I'm going to put mine down at the bottom here below my actual browser so we're going to drag on a button and we're going to change uh, the text to go go back and then we're going to make another button which says go forward I'm going to make another button which says refresh and we're going to make a final button which says Stop. So let's start actually adding the functionality to these buttons. So let's start by clicking on the go, go back button. So all we're going to do is click on the go back button and type in web browser one. dot go back and that's all we're gonna do and the same for the <laughs> go forward but we're just gonna click and type web browser Browser one 
dot go forward and then that's all we're gonna do there and you do the same principle for all of these uh, so let's just test that that works first okay so now let's do the refresh button so we're going to type web out of one dot ref refresh And the same for the stop button. We're just going to type in web browser one dot stop. And we'll just save that and then run it. And then if we go to a URL, uh, Google. dot com go to go it works and then if we type google dot com and then click the refresh button it'll refresh and you'll just have to take my word for it that when you go to something and click stop it stops loading the page and also if you click go back it goes back to the previous page and the same for go forward um okay you've basically created your own basic web browser um and in the next tutorial we're going to be ex expanding on these skills by adding hopefully google search bar thanks for watching